to that land of Egypt out of the house of bondage. Boom! So Egypt means bondage. America today is the modern day Egypt. Mm -hmm. Let me show you this. Give me if, um, Revelation chapter it. 8. You get it. Right? Revelation chapter 11 verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the, in the street of the great city. Why it said their dead bodies? Because they have no knowledge who they are. Read on. Which spiritually is called Sodom Which and spiritually Egypt. Spiritually is called Sodom. Why say spiritually? Because what? It's not Egypt, Egypt. But they take the action of Egypt, which is taskmaster, to put the people in slavery. That's what's going on in America today. It's all about what? Credit card. It's all about this bill, water bill. Everything is a bill, bill, bill. Right? Go ahead. Yes. And also for build up the empire, just as um, Israel built up the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. We build the White House. We build Georgetown. Mm -hmm. We build the Caribbean. Yep. We build the Great Wall. All we build. Yep, yep. Yeah, go ahead. Um, this sounds very interesting. Um, how can I be? I don't want one. I see. How can I be part? And I was like, how can I get one of them? What about this? This book? See, this book selling in um, a Steam bookstore. Right? Now, what happened? A brother would give you a number, and you could either contact us, and we would teach you. You understand? Yeah, but we are the chosen people, brother. You understand? No. You I don't see on TV or anything? On TV? No, we. we this is our TV right now. To the public. I see you for the tape and so what do you do with it? Oh, oh, the recorder YouTube. is we put up um, YouTube videos. Oh, okay. So that is how. What's the channel on YouTube? We're going to write right. it right here. The brother will give it to you. Give him um, with me on Stone Force, right? Good. Now let me show you something, right? I know you hear me mentioning earlier yeah, your hour mm -hmm. and your hour right. shy. Now, how did we come up with this? Good, so we gotta prove it to you. Now, give me um, Proverbs chapter 13, 4, quick. I know this Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 4. Go ahead. It says, Who had ascended up into heaven, mm -hmm. or who descended? Good, so who's the person did that? Who ascended up, and who descended down? Go find out just now. Go ahead. Who had gathered the wind in his fist? Mm -hmm. Who had borne the waters in a garment? Go ahead. Who had established all the ends of the earth? Mm -hmm. What is his name and what is his son's name? Right. If thou can tell. So what is his name is we're talking about the creator and his son's name is talking about the one we call Jesus Christ, which his name is Yahweh. I'm going to prove it to you. Give me Exodus chapter 23 and 20 now. Nice. Somebody give me um, John chapter 3. John chapter 3 and 13. Yeah, this is Exodus Just now, what I want for me first? John chapter 3 and 13. Give me that. So John chapter 3 and verse 13. Because remember it mentioned just now, who have ascended up and who have descended up. Go ahead. And no man have ascended up to heaven. And no man had ascended up to heaven. Go ahead. But he that came down from heaven. Go ahead. Even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Right? So that is number what? Right? Right? Good. Now read that for me. Exodus 23, verse 20. Behold, I send an angel for thee to keep thee in the way. Go ahead. To bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Where? Beware of him and obey his voice. We don't. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon thy transgression. Go ahead. For my name, for my name is in him. Good, look at this. For my name is in him. Look at this, brother. Mm -hmm. Jesus and Jehovah. Those two names come together? Did it do it? Do it? Do it knit together? I think so. It, do it rhyme together? Jesus do it have Jehovah. the same meaning? No. They don't, they, they, no. right. But Jesus and Job, no. Good. So when you look up the meaning of Jesus, you ever look up the meaning of Jesus? No. You know Jesus don't have no meaning? Really? Look it up yourself, right? But Lord's willing, if you come and study with us, we will show you. When you look up the name Jesus, all you would find, the Son of God. Right. If you tell me my, who am I, is that the meaning of my name? If I tell you. All right. You, if, you, if you type in 
Jesus right. and it say I am the son of God is that the meaning of my no. name it's not the meaning no. right this is who I am right. it describing me right. yeah. now it say he was a prophet now it tell you in your occupation we used to do that is not the so Jesus had no meaning right but good so we're gonna get into this name now see if it is Jesus because remember it say his name is in his name is in him uh -huh. look at this now Give me John chapter 17, 19 and 19. John chapter 19 and 19. This is the book of John chapter 19 and verse 19. Give me Matthew. Somebody else give me Matthew chapter 1 and 21. Go ahead. Yeah. And Pilate wrote, in, wrote a title and put it on the cross. Mm -hmm. And the writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. This is what the book had, right? This name was pushed on us, brother. The most I take the name away from us. So it said it was written on the, the title. Read it back one more time. Yeah, and Pilate wrote the title and put it on the cross. Mm -hmm. And the writing was Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus. The word Jesus is what? A, a Hebrew word, a Greek word, a, a, a Latin word, or an English word? Jesus. Yeah. Well, it, Jesus is an English word, right? It used to come in um, Greek, which is Isus. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yes. To yes. water, right? Okay. But well, look at this. They put Jesus, right? But well, listen to this. Read it back one time when it talk. And Pilate wrote the title mm -hmm. and put it on the cross, and the writing was Jesus of Nazareth. Read. The King of the Jews. Uh -huh. This title then read. This title then read. Many of the Jews mm -hmm. for the place where. Jesus was crucified was nigh to the city Read. and it was written in Hebrew in Hebrew and Greek and Greek and Latin and Latin so guess what there was no Jesus there right so he was the, and plus he was from the tribe of Judah and the Jude they, they was where was Judah was speaking what they were speaking Hebrew mm -hmm. let me prove it to you give me Acts 1 and um, 26 and 30 watch it is I'm making a point, right? This Acts chapter 26 and verse 30. Where? At midday, O king. This is I... Paul speaking, right? He was making a journey to um, Damascus. Go ahead. O king, I saw in a way a light from heaven mm -hmm. above the brightness of the sun Go ahead. shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. Read on. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me. Listen to this. A voice speaking unto me. Go ahead. And saying in the Hebrew tongue. In the what tongue? Hebrew tongue. Remember, tongue mean what? Language. Mm -hmm. Tongue mean language. That's all it means. So don't worry, them church, them, them in church going blah, 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 blah. blah. There's not this madness. That is what you call babbling. Right? Go ahead. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the bricks. Read it as it is. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? Mm -hmm. And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. How could he say Jesus when they when say Hebrew? He speak to him in an Hebrew tongue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So his, his name is Hebrew, brother. Which his name is Yahweh Shai. Which means he saved or he delivered. Let me prove it to you. After I march up, I march up, march up. 1 and 21. Mm -hmm. This is my chapter 1. Come up a little more. Yeah, this is Matthew 1 verse 21. Uh -huh. And she shall bring forth a son, uh -huh. and thou shalt call his name Jesus, uh -huh. for he shall save his people. Jesus don't mean nothing. This is number one, right? So wait, say that. And she time. shall bring forth a, a son. son and thou shalt call his name Yahushai. Yahushai is the name. You remember what I say Yahushai mean? He saved or he delivered. Watch the angel gonna break down the name now. Go ahead. For he, For he shall save his people. See? That's the meaning of it. You get it? So he shall save his people. Remember Jesus has no meaning. So he shall save his people. It's Yahushai. Right? He's gonna deliver his people. Right? So let us see now. Uh, what's the father name, right? Give me a. Uh, yeah. Right? So let us see what's the father's name. Because Yahweh means he exists. Right? So the Bible has his name. Watch this. The 
this is Hebrews 11 verse 6 uh -huh. but without faith it is impossible to please him who is him the creator go ahead That's not Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 uh -huh. but without faith it is impossible to please him Go ahead. for he that cometh to the most mm -hmm. must believe that he is boom right there that he is does he mean his name I exist you see showing you so Yahweh shy mm -hmm. and Yahweh what you did you're, you're putting name on the baby Right, so the, the, the two so names. Let's find the name of this one. Yeah, the King James yeah, Version. What? Right, the, the, yeah, the, the two names knit together so, brother? Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. You see? There's no, there's no, God, God just mean, God just mean power. Mm -hmm. Right? Lord just mean owner. So that, that can be the most high name, brother. Right? Titles. It's just titles, right? You have a next question? I will go on YouTube tonight ah. and I'm going to look up the channel and listen more. Yeah, you do that, you do that, yeah. right? Okay. 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 But to be honest with you, you make a lot of sense. But it's not me, but it's in the scripture. Well, you teach me. Right. So what you taught, what I, what I learned tonight, it makes a lot of sense to me. Right. Four sour cold and prince. Good. Now, good. Now, since you said that, right? Now, the next step for you to do, you know what you have to do next? That's why your marks you pay for me. Good. So no, but I'm gonna tell you, I ain't actually nothing for you. Embarrassed here. Man. We just reason as men, right? Right. Yeah. Good. So the next thing you gotta do now, you gotta start praying this name, mm -hmm. and you gotta what? Let me show you what you gotta do. Give me um, give me um, Acts chapter three. Because I always wanna know, right? And nineteen. Make the same. Nobody never see Jesus. Uh -huh. So how they know it's a white man? Why would they put a white man? Why would they put it? Yeah. So then, I you, always ask myself that question. Let, let me show you this. Give me, um, give me, um, the beast. Wisdom of Solomon. No. The heathen. Give me that first mark of things. Yeah. yeah. 2 and 48. 3 and 48. Sorry. All right. Uh, can I read a quick precept? Yeah, just you focus on it. Yeah, finish right there. Yeah, yeah. This is first mark of things. Yeah. Chapter 3. What's the precept reading? First Matthew be chapter 3 and verse 48. Go ahead, you have to listen to this. It says, And laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their image. Right, so when we was in captivity, mm -hmm. the, 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 uh, when you go, you ask about this book. Right, it's, it's called the Apocrypha, you write it on that? No, I write it on that. Come on, now. Uh. Write the Apocrypha, you write the Apocrypha, no? Um, ask them for the apocryphal because a lot of history. There's, there's a lot of a lot of history in this book, right? Because this book is a part of this Bible. Okay. If you buy the King the um the King James 1611, you gonna find this book inside here. Actually, right here. So oh, look the better get okay, it right so here. Okay, so this is No, better you, from, from, from now that you you know started <laughs> to learn, uh -huh. this book would be easier for you to learn with. Like the chapters and these things. Okay. But if your spirit connected to the, the 1611, buy it because it's a spiritual thing. Okay. You understand? But ask about it first. If you could get it apocryphal. But they will have it? Yeah. yeah. Hopefully they will get it. Awesome. Yeah. Really right? So what happened? Give back the voice to me one more time. Done. First Matthew chapter 3, verse 48 mm -hmm. says, and lay it open. The book of the law, mm -hmm. wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their image. Right? So they opened it, this book, the book of the law, and they paint this says mm -hmm. and give us, right? So they had to know the image before they, they do this, right? Yeah. Right? We get, we get a book name, um, what's your icon? I think it's somewhere around the place there, where they, they show you literally that they was whitewashing everything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The the There's wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 15. Mm -hmm. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning, when he had made an image of his child soon taken away, now honored him as a god, which was then a dead man, 
and delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. God. And that's how this, this devil come around. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. We will get into the history. Mm -hmm. um, now, right now, I want to tell you something, right? Um, somebody read for me Acts. Who had it preset? Acts 3 and 19? Yeah, Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Con converted means to change. Change. Yeah. Go ahead. That and you're repent. Repent means to re mean back. Repent means to be sorrow. So you're supposed to be sorrow for your sins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? So now you you you, you have to ask to repent and in that name now, which is Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai or Yahweh Ba Shem mean in the name of Yahweh Shai. You understand? Mm -hmm. Good. Go ahead, read it back one more time. It says Acts 3 verse 19. Mm -hmm. Repent ye therefore and be converted mm -hmm. that your sins may be blotted out. Yeah, because when you repent now your sins are gonna be blotted out. Correct. The scripture said that. Correct. Now give me um 17 and 30 now. Acts 17 and 30. This Acts chapter 17 and verse 30. Mm -hmm. It says, And the times of this ignorance the most I went at. But I might say the time of the ignorance because we used to call another God. Mm -hmm. We used to commit sin. Right? Now why is sin? Give me John, 1 John chapter 3 and 4. You gotta understand why sin. People, is, people don't understand why sin. Right? But let me see why sin according to the Bible. 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. Read. It says, Whosoever committed sin, mm -hmm. transgressed also the law. The law. So if you break the law, right, of the Haubash and the shall of the God, the creator of heaven and earth, you commit a sin. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, how much sin you know about? How much, uh, how much law you know about? Yeah. I just know about the law of the country. You only know the law of the country, but how much commandments you know? Well, ten commandments. The ten commandments. Yeah. But it's three um six hundred and thirteen commandments. You see? You see? Yes. I tell you, well guess what? We because the fact that we're in captivity, we can't keep all of these laws. Okay. Right? So the scripture says we need that um judges. Judges fine. This is judges fine. Verses 5 and 11. Where it says, They that are delivered from the noise of the archers uh -huh. in the places of drawing water. Right, if I'm drawing water means slavery, right? right. So we're in slavery. Go ahead. There shall they rehearse the righteous act. We're going to rehearse the righteous act. Why? we got to rehearse it. So rehearse just means you try to do it to the best of your ability. Right? right? Like yesterday. Yesterday was a day of atonement. Where you drink no water, eat no food. We afflict our soul and ask the Most High to forgive us of our sins. What do you call it? The Day of Atonement. You understand? Right. So, right now we are rehearsing this righteous act. You understand? But you're going to know more about it, you know? Um, what the priest of you was reading for me? Yeah. Acts, 7. Acts 17, verse 13. Go ahead. And the time of this ignorance, the Most High went out. Go ahead. But now commanded all men everywhere. To repent. Right, so the most I say, repent. And he's gonna forgive you, you're gonna blot out your sin. Right. Now when you repent, this is what you have to do also. Give me John um Isaiah 1 and 16. Right? And somebody who will um Acts chapter 2 and 4 the tree for me. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 16 uh -huh. says, Wash you, wash you, make you clean, mm -hmm. put away the Now how do you wash you? Give me, give me Ephesians chapter 5 and 26. Right? To see how you'll be washed. This is important to you know, Ephesians. People like to do this um, water baptism. Right. right? But the water baptism, people going down wicked and coming up back with their brother. And even more wicked, like you said. I see these men sleeping with an ex man, woman. They, they, they want to do this. They're eating pork. They're eating. Come on. So the no, we don't do these things. Right? Go ahead, give me. So you will see how we wash. Go ahead. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. Go ahead, up. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it. Sanctify means to clean. Go ahead. With the washing. With the what? With the washing. Of what? Of water mm -hmm. by the word. Boom. By the word. So now we back on 16 for me. Look at this. Here. Isaiah 1 and verse 60. Mm -hmm. Wash you. Wash you. Make you clean. Make you clean. Put away the evils of your doing. Boom! You saw you be baptized. You saw you be um. You repent and be baptized mm -hmm. with the washing of this water. Go ahead. It says, Salakia, put away the evils of your doing. Uh -huh. 
from before my eyes. Go ahead. Cease to do evil. Cease to do evil. So now you're being cleansed with this word. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Give me um, Acts chapter 2 and 41. Yes, then give me um, just now we're bring that one. Who it? Acts 2 verse 41. Go ahead. Then they that gladly received his word. Now you receive in this word. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Were baptized. Were what? Were baptized. Go ahead. And the same day they were added unto them about 3,000 souls. <coughs> right. So you've been baptized with this word. So this word now, look, look what this word is going to do. Give me John 17 and 17. With John chapter 17 verse 17. Go ahead. Sanctify them through thy, through thy truth. To thy truth. This is the truth. Go ahead. Thy word is truth. See? So this word is what will make you clean. Give me John 15 and 3 now. John 15 and verse 3. Now we are clean. Now we are clean. Through the word which I have spoken unto you. See? So now you go, you take the name and you do according to what the scriptures say. You know, stay away from Obama and never meet. Um, food. Mm -hmm. We have certain food we eat. We have a diet law. Yeah. Right? But good. Look at this. One more precept. Give me that one we have. It's the Psalms 119 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Go ahead. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. See? So you got to take heed to this word. Mm -hmm. Right? Because the scriptures say, um, give me Proverbs chapter 30 and 5, right? You got to take either this word. This word Proverbs. is what is going to even save us, right? Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5. Mm -hmm. Every word of the Most High is pure. Mm. He Every is a word of the Most High is pure. Yeah. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in Him. You see? So this is how we're going to be protected from this thing here. Wait that. I don't know if you know about it, you know? I find it Look at that in there. Look at this. Hold this up for me. Put this one down. Alright? You know what this is, brother? Upside down. You know the crown? Upside down. You know what this is? This thing here. Hold it, hold it, guys. Is it equal? No. Right. I don't know what it's What do you know as the mark of the beast? The mark of the beast? Yeah. You, you never heard about the mark of the no. beast? Well, well, this is something, this is a major prophecy that's going on right now on the face of the earth. The mark of the beast is the RFID chip, okay. which is radio frequency identification. Mm -hmm. These people pushing this right now, and it is in the Bible. Come on, y'all got him preaching. It's Revelation that? chapter 13 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. And he calls it all. He calls it all. Right? Go ahead. Both small and great, mm -hmm. rich and poor, Go ahead. free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand. Good. Now you know the old, the, the, um, the New Testament is written in what language? In Greek. No, in Greek. In Greek. Right? The, see that? Sorry. The Old Testament was written in Hebrew, and the New Testament was written in Greek. No. When you, when, before it translated in, into this, right? Now, when you look up this word here, mark, the word is karagma, right? And karagma means to pierce, to prick. So now we're going to go in your skin, mm -hmm. right? Now, go ahead. Yeah. Get it back one more time. On top. And he calls all, both small and great. Small and great. Go ahead. Rich and poor. Rich and poor. Free and bond uh -huh. to receive a mark in the right hand. Now, the key thing there is why it says he calls it all. Do you know that the system is setting up for this? What exactly is this? Good. Like I said just now, this is the RFID chip. Mm -hmm. Now, let me show you, for, for example, you have a tint number. Right. That tint number, you cannot do no business without it. Without it. Right. This is going to replace that tint number. Okay. Right? When you go to Massey, they ask if you have a... Massive card Correct. so that you can get a discount. Correct. That is going to be eliminated. You have a bank card? Mm -hmm. That is going to be eliminated. You have a clinic card? Yeah. That is going to be eliminated. You have a driver's license? Yeah. That is going to be eliminated. Oh, going to be that. Right here. Oh. Technology. So now they're going to say that the, all the information now is in, that. Is in this. Exactly. But the scripture said this. Right. Said to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads. 
I go and do that shit. No, you have to go away. And that no man might buy or sell. Remember we just talked about what? Your, your tint number yeah. and the Massey card, card and your bank card. Bank, yeah. All of that going to be on here. Go ahead. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. See? Now they're setting up a new system for go across the bridge. The Demerara Bridge. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know about it, but we'll give you more information about it. They, they're launching an RFID badge. Okay. Right? That it had to be on your vehicle. Remember the, the, the ticket every day you go, you had to pay. Uh -huh. Now they want to eliminate that system. Okay. So now they're going to put it on your vehicle. Okay. Your vehicle. Right? So now it's really truly, it's not a vehicle they're gonna be dealing with because they wanna see how the people are gonna to operate to this thing. So if they take it like, yeah, it's not more good, good. Now they're gonna say, you know what? Chip in time. Because the the tag, the tag really truly, the tag don't have no information about the vehicle, you know. It's about the owner. Because they say when the when the vehicle now going through the scanner. It's going to tell you that the driver have not no money on his account, not the vehicle. So it's the driver who can go cross with a vehicle. Correct. So now they're going to say also, hey, you know what? Mm. This badge, people go thieve this badge, and they will go so far to even set the people to thieve the badge or to the the badge could be damaged. Mm -hmm. So now when you take, they're going to tell you take this chip, it can damage. Like people, sick people, they're gonna put all the information. So if you fall along on the road, they just have to do clean and they see what's wrong with you. You know? Mm -hmm. They already start chipping dogs with this thing. People already take this in the US. Yep. And you Sweden. See this going on here? Literally. And Sweden. Sweden. Right? Is that, this is the country where we play football, right? Yeah, yeah. Australia. Australia. Right, because right now a lot of um, football are also taking this chip. A lot of artists or celebrities don't take this chip, you know? Government officials. Well, yeah, the, the um, the coming to, to all of the um, all government work actually, right? But you gonna start with the military, the police, and um, soldiers, right? Yeah. It's, Go ahead. It's Revelation chapter fourteen. When and you verse also nine. when you get home, type in the RFID chip, which company started to use it. Do the force. And when you when you when you, if you see that we say the truth, go ahead and look more video. Go ahead. Listen to this. Revelation 14 and verse 9. Mm -hmm. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast. The, 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 the angel said, If any man worship the beast. What is the beast? The beast is a system. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. And his image. And his image. Go ahead. Which is the image to is, is the, um, the system. Go ahead. And receive his mark. And receive what mark? This mark. Yeah. Because the beast is going to set up the RFID scan on all of these things. That's it. Go ahead. It is for in his right hand or his forehead, mm -hmm. the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture. Which is poured out, and they're talking about what? World War III. Bring that one up for me. Look at the app. Right? They're talking about the, the wrath of the Mosa is talking about nuclear bombs, bro. They're talking about World War III to come. Don't, don't tell me you don't know about World War III yeah. to come. Right, because they're actually something, right? When you buy, if you buy a gun, right? Where you buy a gun for? Protection. Beautiful. So why you feel these other countries are building missiles? Yeah. Beautiful. Good. You get that. <laughs> it's good. You keeping up. You more there? Yeah. And ahead. he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. Yeah, the fire and brimstone too. But these missiles, go ahead. In the presence of the holy angels. Yeah, in pre the presence of all the holy angels. And in the presence of the Lamb. Cut. Oh, right. Yes. So oh, I just wanted to point them out to you. Right, so brother, you need to repent and you could start doing it tonight. You know, when you get home personally by yourself, you call the name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? And the most are going to forgive you. Yeah. Right? Um, keep you, him, you keep didn't put a telephone number here, you know? Put the telephone number for you. Oh, we, take, we take care of the telephone. Yeah, we, we got a group. You okay. WhatsApp? You use WhatsApp? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Good. What, um, oh, shucks. Sure. Alright, go ahead. I wanted to do something else I wanted to say. Right? So. Just make sure you do that, you know, repent, because it's important. Call on the name and even ask the most side to open your understanding. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, oh, one, one more thing I wanted to tell you, brother. Um, why tell you to pray to that name too? Give me um Acts chapter. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know what I want. This is Acts. 
What's the name? Travis. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. What? It says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men. See? So there's only one name. Whereby. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it be real, bro. You know, in, in a lot of faggots, a lot of, like, for instance, these churches, right? Mm -hmm. Under the name Jesus Christ, a lot of blood was shed on there. Mm -hmm. You understand? The, mm -hmm. that, that name is the most abominable name it has, bro. So the most I'm telling you, you back the verse to me one more time. Stronghold. Yeah, it's Acts, a stronghold. Chapter 4, verse 12. Mm -hmm. Neither is there salvation in any other. Salvation means to be saved. Go ahead. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. None other name but the name that we give to you. Well, now, remember we prove it in the Bible. We mm -hmm. didn't come to you word of mouth. Correct, yeah. Right? One of Psalms? Yeah. That, is, one the that is the Psalms 83 and verse 18. Mm -hmm. That men may know that thou whose name alone mm -hmm. is Yahweh are the most high over all the earth. So right. if, if you look at this Bible here real quick, right? Mm -hmm. it, I just put on the This word here, Jehovah? It's not J, it's an I. Okay, I don't it's know. It's an I. Alright, what, what we're trying to show is that the letter J mm -hmm. wasn't about, so it could never be Jehovah. Okay. Plus David, when he write this, he didn't write Jehovah. Okay. He write Yahweh. And your name don't change. The name can't change, you can't translate a name. Psalms what we just now have? Psalms 83 and 18. What did they say, bro? Five to six hundred years ago, let's say they didn't say anybody. Oh, forget it. English. What did they say, right? Get to it, yeah. What did they say? It's an Exodus. Yeah. Right? Exodus 6 or 3. Yeah. In Exodus, when 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 the Mosai gave Moses his name, right? What was what, 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 what Moses? What was put here? Y H W H. So how would change from that to now? Correct. You see, so this is the correct name. Yes, you. You understand? Yes, you. So is Yahweh. Yes, you. You see? Yeah. Yeah, well. Basically, as God is just saying, he let it change actually like only two thousand years old. Salak. Salak. Five. 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 A man who lived over 2000, right? How could have he named Jesus? Right. You understand? Yep. yep, that's it too. Mm -hmm. Right, so um, to, to prove that, um, give me um, John chapter 17 and 6. That's a, that's a good precept, you know? John 17 and verse 6. I write it over on the stick. It says, I have manifested right. that. Right. Okay. Go ahead. John 17 verse 6 uh -huh. says, I have manifested. Manifest thy, me to show, to reveal. Go ahead. Thy name. Thy what? Thy name. Oh, so he had to get the name. You understand? And there's, so there's what read, right? Yeah. So that means, that mean, I wish I was speaking there. Mm -hmm. So he said what? Read it back one more time. I have manifested thy name unto them which thou gavest me uh -huh. out of the world. Right. So this name really truly brother you would you would you would find also as you start to do research you will find other camps doing this the way we do it but they are not a part of us because they don't have the full understanding you understand now the full understanding a hundred percent truth is only given to the men of gms right which is the apostle apostle to her and, and you're going down you know you're going to get more as you, you you come and study right great those are the men great millstone they, they, we are the men that have a hundred percent truth, right? Now, God's with him. As you grow and you, you study more, I will break them to you. How we get a hundred percent truth, right? Yeah.
is Romans chapter 10 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. It says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Sorry. Lord shall be saved. That's right. I how, say you have to call on the name, brother. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and how shall they believe in him of, of whom they have not heard? Yep. And how shall they hear without a preacher? That's why the most I set this up out Right? But you ask some beautiful questions, brother. And that's good. You understand? I, mean, I believe King Spirit, you are watching me. I was saying that, you know, you, you just follow up. I agree. Yeah. You know? Interesting. And the scriptures say, right? Many are called, but few are chosen. chosen. Yeah. So, yeah. maybe today is your calling. You understand? Because I always pass and I wanted to stop. But to be honest, I never got the courage to stop. But tonight I get the courage to stop. That's beautiful. Now that, that go back to the question he asked earlier. Remember you asked, where is the building that we, we worship yeah. fellowship in? Now if we was in a building, how could you see us? Correct. How would you stop? Correct. Look at this. Give me um, Isaiah chapter 30 and go ahead. Quick one in Corinthians, sir. Just now, what I want. Isaiah 30. Uh -huh. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 20. Uh -huh. It says, Yeah, it says, and though the Lord, Yahweh, gave you the bread of adversi adversity mm -hmm. and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, right. but so, thy eyes shall see thy teachers. So you, your, your eyes, you see the teacher right now. Right? You understand? And we are the prophets that was before. Because right. it go back to reincarnation, which you, which you will get, right? Right, so let me show you an expression. Give me um give me Isaiah 35 there. 35 and 8. Isaiah 35 verse 8. What is it? And and an highway shall be there. This is the highway. Right. Yeah. You understand? Go ahead. And a way. And a way. Right? Go ahead. And it shall be called the way of holiness. This is the this is the way of holiness right now. Right? Because what? We holy just means separate. Right. Holiness just mean that we, we clean, bro. Right? You 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 actually you actually you actually need congregation. Right there is angels around us. Right. You understand? So the most I and you you didn't even choose to come in, you know? Look at this. Somebody give me the precept in um, 